We're at the last race from Sandown on the heavy ground. Martin busy making his way to Aintree for some big races there, including the Beecher Chase. It's a two-mile handicap of a very handicap of uh, um, an Auto 2120 handicap. One is Good Street, Dave Hooley. Two, Ozek Muse, Vinnie Gerard. Three, Chickle Mix Hayes, David Robertson. Four, American Pickers, Paul Rhodes. Arneson, Ballyman, Vinnie Gerard. Duchess of Arizona, Paul Rhodes. Trop Sounder, Darren French. E-Commerce, Leon from Renswick. Palace Attraction, Patrick Hogan. China Gold, Alex Cherry. Gurr, Martin Leedham. Blue Raban, Kevin Minigan. Anelka Zen, Patrick Hogan. Sexton Blake, Kevin Minigan. All About Eve, Alex Cherry. And in the two heavy one horses, Crystal Gaze and Nice Parade, make up the 17 runners in the Bavaria handicap. The last race here from Sandown. Away they go. And quickly away, Arlington, Bannyman, and E-Commerce. And these two have gone to lead. So Arlington, Bannyman, with E-Commerce on his inside. Also right there, Sexton Blake for Kenny and Kevin Meenigan. Up on the inside, the orange colours of China Girl. Out very wide is Palace Attraction for Patrick Hogan. On the rail, going well is Chickle Mix Hayes, then comes Duchess Arizona, all about Eve just behind that, they're followed by Vinnie Gerard's Ozak Muse, Good Street is out wide as well, on the inside of Good Street is Crystal Gaze, then comes American Pickers, um, Anelka Zen and Blue Raban on the inside. So Arlington Ballyman, the leader for e, from e-commerce in second. Both of them still travelling wide. There's Sexton Blake on that inside. They passed the winning post for the first time ago in their final circuit now. Asperade is back in fourth with Duchess of Arizona on that one's inside. All About Eve is still there for Alex Cherry. Out very wide is Palace Attraction for Patrick Hogan. On the rail, still travelling well. Check on Mix Hayes on that one's outside is Ozak Muse. Then comes Gurr for Martin Needham. Three wide at this stage. Just behind that is um, Trop Sander for Darren French with China Girl on that one inside. They're followed by Crystal Gaze for Obi-Wan with Good Street on his outside and on the inside that America Pickers and a very Obi-Wan like colours for Paul Rhodes at the back of the field and Alcazen and Blue Raband. is about 12 minutes first to last year in the Bavaria Handicap and it's Arlington Ballyman in this heavy ground elites from e-commerce on his inside. Then comes Sexton Blake for Kevin Meenigan. Dutchess of Arizona just behind that with Alex Terry's All About Eve in fifth position. Just following that, the grey horse, always been on the rail, now switching out though, Chickle Mix Hayes, followed by with alongside Gurr, in, 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 just behind those, Ozak Muse with Palace Attraction on his, on his quarters, Dave Hoodie's turquoise colours running wide, Good Street on the rail is uh, China Girl, as they all jump the next, they're all still standing yet, yeah. American Pickers has switched to the inside, he's in trying to improve, Trop Sounder for Darren French behind that, the two O's are... Two Obi Wan horses together, Crystal Gaze and Nice Parade with Blue Raban on the inside and at the back of the field and Alcazan for Patrick Hogan. So e, e Commerce and Arlington Bannerman are dueling for the lead yards. Yeah, it's up the next, they're probably setting it up for a closer, the two of them. Sexton Blake back in third, then comes the grey horse of uh, David Robertson's Chickle Mix Hayes, has been creeping closer. Pushed along Dutch of Arizona to try and prove beyond that. Then comes Gurr, the two Alex Sherry horses together, all about even China Gold. Trop Sanders comes through from the back of the field, improving positions. Ozak Muse behind that on the outside of that. His palace, it always gone wide though. It's Patrick Hogan's Palace Attraction. Dave Hooley's also been wide as well. Good Street. Then comes American Pickers. Um Obi One horse behind that is a Crystal Gaze and Al Kazen and the two of them trading off at the back of the field. Blue Raban and Asper have no chance. They turn for home. They approach the turn for home now with the e-commerce has won the battle for the lead with Dutch Arizona now moved up into second. Then comes American Arlington Ballyman who's starting to struggle. Art White Good Street is making significant ground along with Chickle Mix Hayes and these two are moving forward strongly now. As Dutch Arizona picks it up and yet comes Good Street for Dave Hooley and Good Street hits the front and has gone clear for Dave Hooley from American Dutch Arizona in the second place. Then e-commerce trying to fight back up the inside. Chickle Mix Hayes is still there. E-commerce tries to come back at Good Street. It's Good Street and Chickle Mix Good Street and e-commerce in between. Between also Dutch Arizona, Chickle Mix Hayes is still there. The rest of them are starting to struggle. It's good streets from Dutchess Arizona. They jump the next slow jump by e commerce pays big pays these chances on the outside. Good Street running on strongly is China Girl. It's good street and on the inside Dutch of Arizona. Dutchess Arizona, good street, these two find it. Oh, there's a net popping deal. Good street getting the upper hand close home. Good street's gonna win it for Dave Hooley from Dutch of Arizona in second. Third was Chickle Mix Hayes. For David Robertson, I think the long time leader e commerce may have got fourth. Confirm the fourth place in though. It's very close on the line. I think Good Street won. Good Street wins from Dutchess of Arizona in second. Chickle Mix Hayes was third. China Girl for Alex Jerry did indeed run on for fourth. And e commerce, the long term leader for Leon from Arizona, back in first. America Pickers came from the back of the field for Paul Rose. But a good win for Dave Hooley, who wins the Arizona Berrier handicap. Yeah, it's Sandown.